we're going to review how to write a fraction in simplest form. So the first thing you have to do is you have to divide the numerator and the denominator by the greatest common factor. Uh, you can use the bobsled to find the greatest common factor if you don't know it. You can use your um, divisibility rules. <clears throat> if you don't divide by the greatest common factor and you only do a common factor, then you're going to have to simplify more than once. And we'll do some examples on the next few slides. We're going to do this problem together. We have 8 twelfths. This fraction is not in simplest form. So what you have to do is we have to look at the numerator 8 and the denominator 12. And we have to think, what is the greatest common factor between 8 and 12? Well, the greatest common factor is 4. So you're going to do 8 divided by 4. So you divide the numerator by 4 and you divide the denominator by 4. So 8 divided by 4 is 2. 12 divided by 4 is 3, so you have 2 thirds. Now, if you couldn't think of 4, but you see that they are both even numbers, and you know that 8 and 12 are therefore div both divisible by 2, you're going to do 8 divided by 2 is 4, then you're going to do 12 divided by 2 is 6, but you're going to keep going. You have to then divide these by 2 because they're both even numbers. So 4 divided by 2 is 2, 6 divided by 2 is 3. So either way, you get 2 thirds. Again, if you don't use the greatest common factor, then you just have to simplify more than once. I know that 2 thirds is in simplest form because the only common factor between 2 and 3 is 1. Now, you're going to try this one on your own. So you're going to simplify 15 fortieths. Go ahead and hit pause, complete the problem, and whenever you're ready to check it, go ahead and hit play. So 15 fortieths. 15 ends in a 5 and 40 ends in a 0. So I know that they are both divisible by 5. So whatever you divide the numerator by, you must divide the denominator by. 15 divided by 5 is 3, and 40 divided by 5 is 8. So your answer is 3 eighths. I know it's in simplest form because the 3 and the 8, their only common factor is 1. Now you're going to do numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4 on your own. Go ahead and put these fractions or mixed numbers into simplest form. When you're done, Go ahead and go to the next slide, and the answer key is there. Here's the answer key. Go ahead and check your work. Be sure to correct any mistakes.